Hi, everybody. This is Terry Fader, and I'm the Lost Beetle. That's right, he's the Lost Beetle. You're watching M Life TV. We're living the M Life. Yes, we are. On Las Vegas stages just like this, you'll find spectacular singers, dazzling dances, and awe inspiring feats. But it's those little extras that can transform an evening's entertainment into an eye popping, memorable performance. Let's go backstage and find out how props and costumes can take some Las Vegas shows from dynamic to dynamite. Combining the art of ventriloquism with singing impressions, superstar Terry Vader and his puppet co-stars effortlessly perform the singing styles of an eclectic group of celebrities, including Elvis, Garth Brooks and Justin Timberlake. Terry, it's so wonderful to finally meet you. I am a big fan and I watched America's Got Talent in 2007 when you won. And it's just so wonderful to see you now here in Las Vegas at the Mirage, doing your show and sharing all of the fun and joy that you do on stage every night. What is the hardest part about ventriloquism? I think in order to be one of the truly great ventriloquists, there is something um, physiological about a person that, that you, I guess you have to have a certain shaped mouth. Now, how I can do what I do, I have no idea. I'm just glad I can. But there yes. is technique to it. I put the tip of my tongue against the back of my front teeth, okay? Now, I do that for M, P, and B. Hello, boys. How do I look tonight? Who is your favorite character? Sentimentally, my favorite character is without a doubt Walter T. Airedale, the cowboy. And the reason is, I was 15 years old. I had decided I wanted to be one of the great ventriloquists. I told my mom this. And my mom started saving money because she wanted to buy me my first professional ventriloquist puppet. And she saved for three years. And on my 18th birthday, she gave me Walter. I'm looking out here at this crowd, and I seen me some women's. Okay, so this has taken you a very long time to learn, but do you think somebody like me could actually pick it up? You want a little lesson? Absolutely. <laughs> Where do I start? Okay, you don't want your puppet to be uh, levitating, okay? So you always, unless you have a little stand or a place for him to sit or her to sit. So you're talking, the puppet looks at you. When I'm talking, the puppet looks at me or looks at Winston or whoever. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice, that was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> What's an uh, easy sentence that we can do? Uh, uh, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Very good. That was good. Thank you. I didn't see your mouth move. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's good. Your mouth moved, yours didn't. This has been so much fun. You truly are an incredible ventriloquist, and to meet all of your friends is just so incredible. And if you guys would love to come down and see Terry and all his friends, he's here at the Mirage every night at 7.30. Our next show features 38 cast members, 79 unique costumes, too many props to count, and a theater in the round, all serving to transport us to a different time and place. I went behind the scenes with Ivan Collier, company manager and stunt coordinator for Tournament of Kings at Excalibur, where he introduced me to one of their biggest stars. And so this is Diablo. Yeah, Diablo is a Frisian. He's 15 years old. He came from Holland. And he's a pretty big star in this show and has his own costumes. Absolutely. I kind of feel like I need to be part of the action. Is there like a costume that I can dress up in? Yes, I have a perfect costume for you. All right, I have my chain mail on. Ivan, what's next? What's next? You're going to get suited into the suit of armor. You can't leave for battle without it. All right. Okay. And why is the armor pointed like this? This is pointed uh, in a manner to deflect any kind of blows from arrows or from a sword. If this was flat, my sword will have a better impact. Now it's going to slide, slide on each side. Got it. So this is good. You ready for this? Yes. Those gauntlets will protect your fingers in case of a sword fight. If you open and manage to strike as you're holding a sword, you will not feel yourself. Your finger will be able to fight and eventually defeat your opponent. Great. Well, I'm glad I have these on. I don't know about you, though. Okay. You ready for the next? Yes. Now, the helmet. You will need this piece of equipment in battle. Protect your face and your head and in the joust. Oh, how do you see in this thing? Oh. So where's my sword? Your sword? Right here. Ah. Uh... Now, you need to be careful with this. This is not for children. 
Okay. This is made out of titanium, and you see all those hits there? Gets very sharp. It's metal against metal. Well, I think we're ready for battle, my lord. For the kingdom! For the kingdom! Oh, you bad, bad man! I'm the evil king! Get that. Oh, you're down! I win! <laughs> if you want to come down and meet King Ivan and all his knights, come down to Excalibur to see the Tournament of Kings. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Can I take the costume home with me? No, I don't think so. Iconic costumes play a large role in many Las Vegas productions. The Beatles' love by Cirque du Soleil at the Mirage takes viewers on a magical mystery tour into the heart and soul of the Beatles' music. It's the costumes that help set the stage, from the Warriors to Sgt. Pepper and his Lonely Hearts Club Band. The creative team took their inspiration from the lyrics, designing a series of scenes inhabited by colorful characters in extravagant costumes. Props also play a starring role in our next performer's mind-boggling show. Held by audiences and critics alike as the greatest magician in the world, David Copperfield holds 11 Guinness World Records and has sold more tickets than any other solo entertainer in history. When David Copperfield offered to meet us at his secret warehouse, we jumped at the chance. David, this is quite a magical moment to be kind of in your secret warehouse, looking at all of these props and costumes and finding out what you do every day. So thank you for your time. Don't tell anybody, okay? I won't, I promise. <laughs> when did you start performing magic? I was about eight years old, and uh, magic came very easy, you know. Um, my idols weren't other magicians, though. My idols were people like Frank Sinatra and Orson Welles and Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire and people that told stories, Walt Disney. And I wanted to take a thing that I did well, which was my magic, and uh, uh, tell stories with it and move the audience with, with my magic. And that's uh, uh, the product of uh, why we're here. Now, you use a lot of costumes and props in your shows. Can you tell me a little bit about the ones that are in your warehouse here today? Sure, the spikes behind you are uh, the spikes that were below me when I did what we called Fires of Passion. All the spikes were lit on fire. I was 10 stories near over those spikes uh, in a straitjacket and a whole bunch of other bondage materials hanging from burning ropes and I had to escape from the burning ropes before the ropes burned through and I would be uh, shishka daved on those, uh, those spikes there. Um, we rehearsed that for an entire year, but finally one night and one night only, uh, we did the, uh, the, the escape, uh, and it was pretty, uh, pretty frightening. David, thank you so much for letting us into your secret warehouse. I feel so privileged to have seen some of your props and learned some wonderful things about you. Thank you very much. Whether in a starring role or simply as extras, props and costumes help transform Las Vegas shows from ordinary to extraordinary. Do you think you could make me disappear? I'll work on it. Pick up your copy of M Life magazine for a full list of show offerings. As an M Life member, you'll enjoy discounts and priority seating at all MGM Resort shows. Log on to MLife.com for a full list of benefits. Not a member yet? Sign up at M Life Players Club in the casino. Later on M Life TV, imagine yourself here an exclusive private dinner on the beach at Mandalay Bay. It can be yours, and M Life TV shows you how. But first, a candid interview with everyone's favorite wild haired, red haired carrot top. Okay, all you party seekers, here's another sample itinerary with guaranteed good times for only $200 a day. Brunch at Border Grill at Mandalay Bay, $25. For $5 more, add all you can drink margaritas. Spend a cool day by the pool at Wet Republic at MGM Grand. Entrance fee, $40. Another 40 gets you frozen push pops at a cocktail. Complimentary wine tasting at Owned a Wine Lounge at the Mirage. Followed by the iconic and free Mirage Volcano. Round off your $200 day with a full dinner and pitcher of beer at Todd English Pub at Crystal's at City Center. Grand total $200. Now let's get the party started. For other great itineraries with guaranteed good times, pick up your copy of M Life magazine.